watching all of my Huda Beauty lipsticks that I have. I have about nine lipsticks from her and they're all different formulations and I, I think I have all of her formulas um, that she has come out with so far. I have been meaning to film this for a while. You guys must have seen my MAC lipsticks video which actually did pretty well. I will link it up here and you know a lot of people have watched that video so I thought this would also be helpful for people and also for me. Um, so I thought I will film this video and show you guys all the lipsticks that I have and I feel like these are shades that will suit dark skin tones and I feel like anyone who's in my skin tone that's an NC45 can comfortably wear these lipsticks. I have some mauve colors, I have a red, I have some really dark browns and I have a, a couple of other shades that I think really suit or complement my skin tone. So I thought it would be like a very nice guide for people trying to buy Huda Beauty lipsticks. So yeah, let's just get started. So the, so the lipstick that I'm wearing today is actually from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called So 90s. It's a very nice brown lipstick. And um, you, you must have seen this in the Get Ready With Me video. Uh, I will link it up here. I don't know if this video is going to go up first or that one, but yeah, I will link it up here whenever that is. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see a video of swatches of all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't have a lot, but I do have some. Uh, I might be purchasing some later on, but if you if that is something that you'd like to see, I would love to work on it. So now I'm gonna take off this lipstick and start with the first. So I'm gonna start with her latest release. This is the Huda Beauty uh, Power Bullet Sweet Nudes Cream Glow Lipstick. And this is a cream lipstick. I mean, it is very similar to her Power Bullet lipstick. And she came out with a lot of nude shades when she came out with this range, but it's called Cream Nudes. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's very similar to her Power Bullet lipsticks and I really like the fact that they're like nice and magnetic. But this finish is a little different. The other ones are pretty matte, they're like opaque. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is a very, uh, you know, very soft nude kind of lipstick. Just like I did in my MAC lipstick swatches video. And I'm gonna swatch every lipstick with lip liner as well as without lip liner. So now I'm just gonna go straight in with this one and it's a very light nude so I'm not sure if I can really wear this without a lip liner. So as you can see, if you open the bullet, uh, it looks really matte, but as, as and when you apply it, it becomes a little balmy and creamy. It is called a cream lipstick. It is called um, a cream glow lipstick. And this is what the shade looks like. I actually, do really like it so i think it looks really nice and you know if i had to like contour my lips a little bit and like outline my lips just a touch with the same shade of lip liner so that that one white line around my lips between my skin the transition between the lips and skin um if i could highlight that a little bit i think it will look great absolutely love it i would never have thought of wearing this otherwise but this looks great. I'm, I'm in love with this lipstick. And this is the Sweet Nudes lipstick and this is in the shade Baby Face. Now I'm going to show you guys what this would look like with a lip liner. Now for lip liner, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame lip liner. Now I'm just going to go in with this lipstick on top of that. I absolutely love that shade and I think that looks so 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 sophisticated and love it. This is what it looks like with a lip liner. If you apply a darker lip liner then I think it will look darker. But it just adds that sheen and that touch of nude uh, element to whatever lip liner you're wearing. And I feel like it's a very elegant lipstick. It's not messy, it's not, you know, it's not sticky or anything. Although it's like really creamy and all that, it doesn't get messy. It's very easy to apply. I absolutely love this look right now with this um, outfit, especially I am currently loving this. So yeah, that's the first lipstick that I have. Uh, 
Huda Beauty Sweet Nudes Cream Lipstick uh, in the shade Baby Face. Now the next lipstick that I have or the next bunch of lipsticks that I have are the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. These are my favorite lipsticks I think so far from Huda Beauty as well as these come really close to my Charlotte Tilbury's or my Hourglass lipsticks or no or my Pat McGrath lipsticks. I absolutely love these. These are like the high end versions of the luxury products absolutely love this this one these retail for around 90-95 rupees and i always almost get them for sale for about 1500 rupees so the next shade that i have is dirty 30 this is in the uh, power bullet matte lipstick it's a very nice um um like a lavendery uh, like it's not lavender it's a purple but brownish purple kind of a lipstick I, so now i'm just gonna start applying this so yeah there you have it it's a very nice nude but it's got like those light purplish undertones i absolutely love it i feel, i feel like it looks a little um creamy but actually it's very matte i love this shade this is one of my favorite shades I wouldn't wear this on its own because I'm not still comfortable with that vibe. So yeah, but I really like it. And uh, although this is a matte lipstick, it's a very creamy lipstick. I think it's one of the first, you know, lipsticks that I tried to use. And that is what made me fall in love with bullet lipsticks. Earlier, I was such a matte liquid lipstick kind of person. And I think these are the lipsticks that made me fall in love with bullet lipsticks although i used to already have the mac bullet lipsticks a couple of them but i never really liked them i was very fond of liquid matte lipsticks but these are the bullet matte lipsticks that made me fall in love with bullets and now i cannot do without bullet lipsticks so yeah that's the dirty 30 shade without a lip liner now let's see how it looks with a lip liner now for the lip liner i'm gonna be using the huda beauty lip contour in spice girl I feel like this shade might go well with uh, this lipstick and I'm just gonna go in with this lipstick The lip liner that I've used is quite light so it's kind of matching with the lipstick which is why it looks like this which is why you actually can see the shade of okay, if you use a darker lip liner then you could manipulate the shade a little bit if you're not comfortable with wearing uh, this kind of a shade um, if you feel like it's going to wash you out if in my complexion then if you feel like this might wash you out then you could definitely use a darker lip liner I don't know if you guys have watched my rock chick makeup look this is the lipstick that I was using there to create that ombre effect uh, with another lipstick from Huda Beauty as well. You can definitely check it out on to see how you can use this lipstick to create an ombre look or you know how you can pair it with a darker lip liner in order to manipulate its shade a little so that it doesn't look so light on you. So yeah, that's the next shade that I have from the Power Bullet Matte Lipstick formula and this is Dirty 30 and that is what it looks like. Now the next lipstick I have is also a Power Bullet Matte Lipstick and this is the first one that I got in this formula and I absolutely fell in love with it. This is called the Ladies Night and it's such a lovely rich plum shade. It is so beautiful and definitely like a suitable lipstick for a ladies night and I used to always wear this and actually when I bought this I kind of like you know broke it or I did something funny with this which is why the shape is a little different and i would like to mention that huda beauty uh, bullet lipsticks are so well shaped that it makes the application so much easier and you know sometimes people struggle with bullet lipsticks so i feel like this has like the perfect shape especially as soon as you buy it and it's brand new you can just see it and you 
for a while you will not feel like using it because it's got this frost detail uh, the ends so it doesn't uh, it helps the lipstick in not melting so this is a technique i've seen in even in the pat mcgrath lipsticks and that one turns completely white so it looks so pristine you just don't want to touch it but like i said the shape of this one is like the best among all the bullet lipsticks that i have used before it makes the application process so much more easier so yeah let's just see how this looks without a lip liner <laughs> So yeah, that's how the shade looks without a lip liner. I feel like it is so opaque, so nice and so complimenting on my skin tone. I absolutely fell in love with it. I mean, look at this lipstick. How can someone not fall in love with it? It's a very nice dark plum color and I absolutely love it. And the moment I use it with a dark brown lip liner, it looks very, very different. Um, this is the first lipstick that I bought a couple of years ago, I think. And I, I can never go back. This is probably my favorite shade from this line. This is the Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Ladies Night. Now let's see how it looks with a lip liner. For the lip liner, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Famous. I feel like this lip liner goes so well. And this is like my go-to combo. I think the lip liner looks exactly the same shade, which is... That's the lipstick with the lip liner. I absolutely love it. And I think right now it looks like it's not going to budge at all. So whatever, even if I eat something oily or something, you know, the lipstick will wear off, but the lip liner will stay. Um, which is why I love wearing a lip liner even if my lipsticks are pretty pigmented and I don't need a lip liner. I always wear a lip liner to define my lips as well as add some more pigment under the lipstick so that when I eat something and it wears off I still have some pigment left on me and my uh, lips don't look discolored and all that. So yeah, that's how it looks with the lip liner. That is the Huda Beauty Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Ladies Night. Now the next lipstick that I have is something that I've eyed for so long. I was eyeing it for so long and I just couldn't find it. It was always out of stock and I have no idea how I got my hands on this one. Finally, I found it on I think Sephora's now, which is when I got this one. This is, uh, it almost looks like it's black, but it's not. It's a very dark shade. And if you guys don't know about, don't know this about me, I used to love going to a lot of concerts like rock concerts and that used to be my vibe where I would wear dark lipstick and which is why I wanted this one and this is uh, the shade called Masquerade and it's not brown it's not black but it's a deep plum very deep plum um, like like those berries that you get it's it's that dark and but it's also it's also got a little bit of that purple undertone so yeah let's just apply this right now Okay, that is what the lipstick looks like. I feel like this is one of the most gorgeous lipsticks I have ever used. I absolutely love, love, love it. I think it's such a beautiful shade. It's such an underrated shade. I would definitely wear this. And I mean, I I absolutely love this lipstick. Like it looks so classy and so, um, you know, that fall vibe kind of lipstick. It's not dark brown or black or anything it's a very nice deep plum with like a little bit of purple undertones i don't think this one needs any lip liner so i'm not gonna show you guys 
uh, this lipstick with a lip liner because it's it's so pigmented and so opaque that it's not going to get manipulated with any lip liner and you don't need one so the thing is if you use a light lip liner and you use this on top the lipstick color is not going to change it's just going to look the same so which is why i always apply this just on its own if i really need to like define my lips so that the lipstick doesn't bleed i so i just use the lip liner in the shade famous or my weave lip liner that you guys have seen it's the modern lip liner called in the shade taylor it's a very nice dark brown so i just use that so that my lipstick doesn't bleed and like look uneven or something so yeah that is one of my favorite lipsticks from huda beauty it is the huda beauty power bullet matte lipstick in the shade masquerade now the next lipstick that i have is also the power bullet matte lipstick and this one is in the shade promotion day it's my most favorite red after the ruby wo absolutely love this shade it's a bit of a warm toned red not as cool toned as the ruby wo it's like the russian red even the russian red is a little bit cool tone this one's pretty warm uh, i absolutely love it and let me just show you what it looks like So yeah that's the red lipstick and it's called promotion day and i feel like it looks a lot like the ruby wo but it's just not as cool toned and i absolutely love the fact that it's so creamy and so nice but also looks very matte on you love it i love red lipsticks and this is one of my favorites i think ruby wo russian red and promotion day are some of my top five top favorite red lipsticks so i will show you guys how this looks with a lip liner Okay, now for the lip liner, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Cheerleader. This is a very nice red that goes with this lipstick, and I'm just going to start lining over here. Now that's the lip liner all done. Now I'm just gonna add this lipstick right on top of it. So yeah, that's what the lipstick looks like with the lip liner. I feel like the lip liner is a little bit more warmer than the lipstick, which is why it looks nice and warm. It's like a very nice warm. Uh, lipstick you could really wear this to a wedding and like all eyes would be on you i absolutely love 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 this lipstick i feel like a red can go wrong very easily but definitely not this lipstick i feel like it's so gorgeous it's so sophisticated when a red lipstick has like a weird undertone it can look very patchy or you know sometimes it doesn't complement your skin tone and but this one looks gorgeous and stunning that is the huda beauty power bullet matte lipstick in the shade promotion day so now we're done with all of our bullet lipstick now let's move on to the demi matte lipsticks that she came out with right in between after the she came out with the matte lipsticks now i'm going to swatch the matte lipsticks right in the end if you guys have watched my matte lipsticks video you must have seen that even in that video i swatch the mac the liquid matte lipsticks right in the end because they are a diff little difficult to take off so yeah i'm going to swatch them right in the end so i'm going to start off with the demi matte lipstick this is in the shade chica i actually did not purchase this one someone sent it to me so i quite like it i would not go out and buy this uh formula but i quite like it I like the wand on this one because it's got this little dip here and it's not in the matte one I think. So I literally did not dip my wand into the lipstick not even once and I'm done and that is a gorgeous color. I absolutely love it. This is a very like comfortable matte uh lipstick but it kind of makes your lips feel a little tinglish for a bit and after that it just settles down like right now i'm feeling that like i said someone sent this to me if i had to buy it on my own i wouldn't have because 
it's a little too shiny for me sometimes when i use something too shiny on my face i feel like i look uh, more tan uh, so but i like this i really really like this and it looks so cute and pretty yeah so that is the demi matte lipstick in the shade shika now i'm going to show you guys how it looks with lip liner now for this lipstick i'm going to be using amber pk03 So yeah, that is what it looks like with the lip liner. I don't feel like the shade is very different, although we used a very dark lip liner. I just feel like the ends uh, look much more defined, and it gives that nice and finished look, where you know your lipstick is not bleeding. And I absolutely love this. It feels very tingly. So if that is something that you're not comfortable with, then you might not like this. But I really like it. I feel like adding the lip liner has toned down the sheen of the lipstick a little bit. Like when I added it without the lip liner, it was a little bit more shinier than this. And uh, you know, uh, because probably the lip liner was quite matte, I feel like it has toned down the sheen of the lipstick. But I'm not complaining. I love how it looks with the lip liner. And this is definitely something that I would wear. That is the Demi Matte Lipstick from Huda Beauty in the shade Shika. Now the next lipstick that I have is also a demi matte lipstick. This is in the shade Revolutionaire. Now again, this one I did not buy it. I actually bought a bunch of stuff from Huda Beauty on Nykaa, and there was a sale going on, and there was an offer on the Huda Beauty products. If I had spent more than two thousand or three thousand, I got this for free. So I could choose the shade. So which is why I chose this shade, and this is called Revolutionaire. I'm just going to show you how it looks. <laughs> So yeah, that is what it looks like. I feel like it looks very similar to the first lipstick that we applied. That's the Sweet Nudes lipstick in the shade Babyface, and this one also is very very comfortable. But again, if you are someone who does not like that tingling sensation on your lips, then your other option is to use the Sweet Nudes lipstick. That one doesn't have this tingling sensation. I love this lipstick. I think now I'm gonna get comfortable with wearing these nudes. Out, I think it looks really, really nice. I love it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks with a lip liner. For the lip liner for this lipstick, I'm gonna use the same lip liner that I used previously. That's the Chambord PK03. I'm just gonna add this lipstick right on top of that. So I love this lipstick with the lip liner as well. I think I made a video of a complete matte eye look, and in that one I also did an ombre lip. Uh, I think I used this lipstick over there. I will link that video up here. You can go check it out. If if it's not that video, then I will link the one where I did that ombre look with this lipstick. But I really like this with the lip liner, just like the previous one. I feel like you know, just excuse this mess here. Yeah, like right now, I have um, no patience to clean that. But yeah, I think just like the previous lipstick, it just the lip liner just doesn't let your lipstick budge but it still feels so nice and creamy and so comfortable. It just outlines the lip and so the lipstick doesn't travel outside of your lips. Love it. And it looks really, really nice. The, it did not really manipulate the lip color so much, which I love. And I think it looks really nice and sophisticated. Love it. So, so this is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Revolutionaire with the lip liner. Next 
couple of lipsticks that I have are the most iconic Huda Beauty lipstick uh, that literally changed the game of liquid matte lipsticks. They are her liquid matte lipsticks which came out a while ago. So I had like a couple of them which I still have. So I'm just gonna swatch them for you. I have one in the shade Famous and this is like a very deep plum. And these are like so, so matte and so pigmented. You definitely cannot go wrong with them. And I have used these and I've loved them before when I was in that phase of that liquid matte lipstick phase. Love, love, love them. As much as I like the matte lipsticks, I like these ones, but these have like heavy fragrance. That is the only thing that I don't like. But yeah, let me just start with this one. The first one that I have is called Famous. is what the shade looks like I feel it looks still shiny it's going to set matte in like a minute or two but I think this shade is very similar to the shade that I showed you earlier that's the ladies night shade but this one turns matte just give it a moment and you will see how matte it will turn so yeah that's completely turned matte and not need a lip liner at all for these lipsticks like I said even if you use any lip liner the shade is going to remain the same because they're so pigmented and so opaque like you cannot manipulate these shades so i absolutely love this and this i'm wearing this after a really really long time and i kind of forgot how gorgeous these lipsticks were especially this shade oh my god it is so beautiful it's a very nice uh berry shade and i love it i think it looks so 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 cute um that's the huda beauty matte lipstick in the shade famous Now the last lipstick that I have is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Vixen. I saved this for the last because it's the darkest shade that I have and it's a very nice deep brown shade and I love it. Like I said, it was my vibe to use dark lipsticks and this was like my go-to lipstick. So, so yeah, let me just show you what it looks like. Can you see how brown and nice that lipstick is so yeah that's what the lipstick looks like and it is such a vibe i think this one comes very close to the carnivores but that one has some kind of red undertones this one is like proper bang on brown and it's going to turn matte in like a couple of seconds and usually just to avoid anything that goes into goes onto my teeth i just put my i just do that so that there's no residue on my teeth so this is one of my favorite lipsticks and yeah this is the huda beauty liquid matte lipstick in the shade vixen those are the swatches of all the Huda Beauty lipsticks that I own. I have bought all of these with my hard earned money and the two lipsticks that I said I got for free were sent to me because I spent some money on some other products. So I absolutely love these lipsticks. I've always been very choosy about the kind of lipsticks that I want to wear and Huda Beauty lipsticks are one of the best. Although I have moved on from the matte lipsticks, the liquid ones, but I absolutely love their bullet lipsticks. Currently, they are the best. And you know, whenever there's a sale on Nykaa, you can get your hands on them. So yeah, I hope these swatches were helpful. And I, 
I feel like all of these shades really complement my complexion. So if you're anywhere around NC45 or you're in my skin tone, you can definitely try out these shades. I really hope this video was helpful. And yeah, that's all for this video. Let me know if you guys want to see my swatches of all my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks or any other brand for that matter. And I will do that for you. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments which shade was your favorite or which formula was your favorite. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video pretty soon. Bye. Bye.